This is Sean Kelly, the CarBiz Coach, helping automotive leaders achieve great results through people and technology. And I'm about to conduct a an observational coaching call with a BDC manager. Um, we rolled out a new script and phone handling, call handling process with her. And as a result, she's been um, practicing, drilling, and rehearsing some of the talk tracks around this. Um, so far, they have increased productivity by about four to five times. That's right. Um, and today we are, um, you know, so we've been focusing on the activity, but today we're focusing on the message, right? Because if you do the right activities in the right way consistently, you'll get consistent results. So she's about to call in and we are going to dive into the role playing of the uh, of the script and hear how that sounds and please listen so you can get some tips on observational coaching and how it can positively impact people's delivery and ultimately drive more results this is sean hey sean it's kevin how you doing sir kevin what's going on man Hey, I have an amy from borcheting on the other line for you please transfer through i appreciate you my brother not a problem. I'm going to send it through. Thanks, Kevin. This is Sean. Hi, Sean. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, you know, always, always busy, but uh, no. Who is this? This is Amy calling from Borchard and Buick GMC. Oh, I, hey, Amy. What can I do for you? Well, I noticed you were in a, um, interested in a vehicle. I wanted to see if you had an opportunity to stop out yet for the inventory reduction sale we have going on. Uh, no. I, well, I was there briefly, um, but I didn't see the car I was looking for on the lot, so I left. Okay, you didn't see the particular vehicle you were looking for? Yeah. Okay, let me get a better idea of what exactly um, you are looking for. Were you looking for new or used? I was looking for a new car. New car, okay. Um, and was there a particular model you were leaning towards? Yeah, I was looking maybe to get a Buick Lucerne. Lucerne, okay. Um, were you looking for a lighter or darker color? We like darker colors. Okay. And maybe leather or cloth for the interior? Probably leather, yeah. All right, and moderately or well equipped? Did you want more features, more of the bells and whistles on it? Uh, yeah, ideally, I'd want more options. Depends on you know the price. Absolutely, I completely understand. Well, um, let me do um, let me do this real quick. I'm going to check um, what we have available for you now, um, and also what we may be bringing in in the next few days. Um, it should only take a few minutes. Is this the best number I can reach you at? Um, yes, you can reach me here. All right. Is this your home, your uh, work number, or your cell phone number? This is my cell phone. Perfect. All righty. Um, and you know what? Actually, it looks like I can save us just a few minutes here. Can I put you on a brief hold? That would be fine. All right. One second, please. Okay, Sean, are you still there? Yes. Okay, I have great news. I actually just talked to my manager, and it looks like we do have great availability of the type of vehicle you were looking for. Um, when would you be available to come and look at them? Um, probably like today or tomorrow works better for you. Yeah, tomorrow would probably be okay. Um, what, what's the best price? What, what's the lowest you can go on a, one of the like a loaded dark colored Buick Lucerne? And, and do you have one in stock? You said you do. You said you do have one. But what's the best price? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Um, so we do price aggressively. Um, we try to be as transparent as possible. Would you be looking to finance the vehicle? Um, do you have a particular trade in that you were looking to maybe get some money off of? Yeah, I've got uh, I've got an older Buick. Yep. Older Buick, perfect. And now, are you looking to finance with us? Yeah, I'd be financing. Okay. Perfect. Now, Sean, I tell you what, um, we look for any kind of way that we can save the customers money and we save you time. Um, what we can do here is we can actually put all the numbers together. I can set you up with a VIP appointment with my sales manager. Um, he'll be able to go over um, every scenario with you to see what the best outcome would be. Um, and you said you'd be able to do that tomorrow. Is that correct? Tomorrow would be great. 
Okay. Um, now, would the daytime work better or sometime in the evening? We are open until 8 o'clock. Um, why don't we shoot for, um, I'll tell you what, why don't we shoot for the daytime? Daytime, perfect. Now, would um, 2.15 or 2.30 uh, work better for you? 2.15, please. 2.15 p.m., perfect. Now, I've got some important information for you. Do you have a pen handy by chance? I sure do. Perfect. Okay. So go ahead and write this down. Uh, my name is Amy. Okay. And my direct line is 513-239-2041. And I was able to uh, go ahead and get an appointment scheduled with Scott Griffith. He is our general sales manager here at the dealership. Um, mm -hmm. And that is for tomorrow, June 7th at 2.15. Um, do you remember where we're located? Uh, yeah, I, I have a good idea. Perfect. Okay. Now, when you come into the dealership um, tomorrow the 7th at 2.15, walk right into the used car showroom, ask for Scott. Um, he will be expecting with you, or he'll be expecting you, and he will work with you one-on-one -on -one, um, to get the best deal possible. Um, and I'm also going to send you an email. It's going to have all the confirmation details. What's the best email address to send that to? Is it your work or personal email? Yeah, send it to my, it'd be my personal email, um, Sean, S oh, it's both, Sean, S-E-A-N, at carmotivators.com. Carmotivators.com. And you can call my work 1-800 number, which is 1-888-921-0221, if, if you're unable Wait, to. Wait, now is there, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, if you can't, if you don't get a hold of me, you can also call my office line, which is 1-888-921-0221. Perfect. Now, is there an alternative phone number for you as well? Maybe a home phone number or a cell phone number? Just this one then, and that office line, just those two. Perfect. All right. Now, um, if anything's going to change on your end, you can't make it or you need to reschedule, please give me a call as soon as possible. Um, I can go ahead and get that rescheduled for you. Also, I'll let you know um, if we have to reschedule or cancel for whatever reason. And this phone number is the best phone number, the work number. That's correct. Yes, right? yes ma'am. Perfect. All right. And that's the one eight 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 nine two one zero two two one. You got it. All right. Thank you so much, John. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow, the seventh at uh two fifteen. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate your help. Thank you. All right, Amy. So let's <clears throat> obviously stopping the role play here. Um mm -hmm. first off, um how do you feel that went? What did you do? Um, pretty good. The only thing that it threw me off is wait, wait, wait. wait. Bear, 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 anymore. bear with me. Bear with me. What did, What did you do well on that call? Um, getting the customer information, um, narrowing down exactly what you were looking for. Um, I did remember the whole time, <laughs> um, and asking or talking to the manager. Uh, and I think I did decent at narrowing down an exact time for you to come in. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. I completely agree. Any anything else you feel like went well on that call that you did, that you did well? Um, got all the customer information. Asked for alternatives. Um, I wrote down notes on our call. Um, how I, I was going to confirm the appointments and I, an alternative with the phone number and the email. Um, and let's see here. I asked if I caught you at a bad time. I've made sure to engrave that in my brain. So, yes, I all those things you did very well. Um, I'm going to throw another one out there. You came across as happy to be talking to me. You were energetic, enthusiastic. I could hear your excitement through the phone, and that if you're doing that on a role play, I'm pretty confident when in real in real life situations, you're probably doing an even better job. So, congratulations on that too. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Amy. Now, where do you feel like you slipped up? What opportunities do you have there? Um, where do you feel like you can like improve? I said, the, well, the one thing that threw me off, I don't know if this counts, is there's I don't have a new listern because they don't make those. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if I should have disclosed that or not, or just like I tried to talk about um, what exactly you were looking for, and we had good availability in the vehicle that you're looking for. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. feature wise. Gotcha. So that's a great, great question. And I kind of threw you for a loop there. I wanted to see where you'd go with it. And I know it caught me off guard. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Do you feel like you handled it well or not? I think I did. Um, 
for the most part because I did get information on what you were looking for um, because it sounded like, you know, price and the details, like the colors and um, like the features, the interior, stuff like that. I completely agree. I think that the customer at that point could have just slipped up and said the name of his old car, right? You could also yeah. as, you could also assume that, um, like you said, that because you have vehicles similar to what he's looking for overall features, that you can still sell him one of your cars. And and I think so. So at the end of the day, I'm not. I would put this in the what you did well category versus okay. where you need to improve because you stayed on track, you didn't get diverted, and you accomplished the goal of the call, which is to what? To get the appointment. Yeah, set an appointment, exactly. And and bottom line is this, um, I think you did great on that front. I, I think anything else where you feel like, any others you feel like you can improve? I have one thing written down here. Um, I feel like I said um too much because I'm trying to think the right way in order. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm making sure I get information as I go. Gotcha. Okay. I, well, and I didn't, I didn't notice that, but that's, if you know, if you feel like that, then, and that's probably just you, you know, that that's going to come from that repetition and all that, but you felt to me, yeah. it felt, it flowed it, you, what you bridged from one, uh, I guess one part of the, the conversation to the next very well. Um, so I, I think the opportunity for you is you seem to ask some yes or no questions sometimes, which, mm. which ultimately, could be you could you could do a, a little bit better job leading the customer down the path because I want for you to get the answers that will and, and help you maintain control of the call. Um, so two times where you did that. Number one was, do you have a pen? And what do I say right off the bat? Oh yes, I do. But how often you know will the customers say yes or no? Right. So so yeah, they're then, just going to yeah. say yes. So instead, you know what what could you ask? I guess my question for you: What could you ask instead that wouldn't be a yes or no question? but still allow for the customer to write down the important information you need to give them Um, and help reinforce that in their memory. The part where, you know, I've got some, um, I guess, important information for you, Um, like go ahead and write this down or please write this down. That's awesome. Skipping the whole, do you have a pen thing? Okay. Well, you know, and, and so instead of a yes or no question, you know, you could, so you're, you're saying take control by saying, go ahead and write this down. So you could say, um, go ahead and grab a pen. I'll, I'll wait. I need, so you can write this important information down. You know what I mean? So you can, you can kind of tell them to grab a yeah. pen and say, you'll wait for them. You know what I'm saying? So that's one. Right. And, yeah, and, and, then, and then the other yes or no question you asked was, do you remember where we're located? Uh, yes, I do. Now you did address it later by saying, I'll email you the information, right? So yeah. now, I think the other thing was, so one other opportunity was you knew I'd already stopped by there, right? Correct. So I think you could say, hey, well, I'm glad you gave us a, that you want to give us a chance to earn your business. Uh, what what yeah, made you choose, okay. what made you choose us? Because if you think about it, they didn't see the car online. You know, if, if I came there to look for a car, either I saw a specific car in line and I came there to look at it, what else might be possible? Um, you didn't like the salesperson. You didn't like the options that you mm-hmm. saw. You didn't find exactly what you were looking for. The vehicle you were looking for wasn't available. But why? That's why I left. But why would I have chosen your dealership? Why did I come see you guys in the first place? Um, maybe pricing. Um, okay. Do you have a wide uh, availability? Okay. What else? Those are possible. What else? Um, maybe it could have been a referral, like someone told you to come here because they had a good experience. Okay, okay. All possibilities. Anything else? Um, let's see here. You came here, you list. I'll throw, I'll throw a price. Cup. Oh, yeah, and you mentioned that. Let me throw a couple. For your payment, I mean. I think there's a couple more possibilities maybe you hadn't thought of, which is maybe I bought my last car from you guys, right? Maybe, oh, God. maybe yeah. I. That's okay. Maybe I serviced my car there. Maybe I. My my. Maybe I live right around the corner from you guys, right across from the auto mall. Maybe I was sent down by a friend of mine, my boss, who bought their last car there. So is there? I guess is there value in in you finding that information out? Yeah, yeah. Because then you can even thank them for being a loyal customer, even if it's sales. Or I'm sorry, even if it's service. And then, and then, how how does that improve the call if you were to do that? Um, I would assume 
sorry, I got distracted by Charles. Um, you are all right. Um, what did you ask? Um, so I, I asked, I asked you, how does that improve the dynamic of the call, increase, and, and maybe even increase your odds of them wanting to come see you and do business with you? Because it builds value. You, you already have a rapport going a little bit to where, mm -hmm. you know, they can, they trust you to actually get the information that they're looking for, get the car they're looking for, whatever it is that they're looking for. That's awesome. That's awesome. I agree. So if you, so what, how could you, I guess, keep the call time to a reasonable amount of time, but inject that? Like if you hear a customer that says, well, I was already down there or I, yes, I was in and I did visit you guys. Um, how, how could you, what, what could you do to find that out and, and, you know, use leverage that to build value, but without making the call like another five minutes longer, right? What would that sound like? Um, yeah. So go into that and then, um, from there. So yeah, I was in the, there. What are you looking for? Like, let me get a better idea of what you're looking for or going into, you know, different options of what they could be looking for. Try to incorporate it all in one. Okay, so, so I'll throw this out there. So if the customer says, I was already there, hey, thanks for stopping by Board Training and give us, giving us a chance. May I ask what what caused you to come see us? Do you service your car here or did you just find the car, a specific vehicle online? Or was it, you know, or, or were you referred by someone? How did, how did you hear about us? See what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then they'll tell you, right? Oh, I live right around the corner from you. And then your value statement would be something about, what, what might you say then? Just a, a quick value. What's the value for me as a customer if I'm living right next to your dealership? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Convenient. Pow. You nailed it. I, I agree with that totally. All right. So let's keep it simple. Um, we had a really quick coaching conversation. And first off, I do want to tell you, Congratulations. I would like to buy you lunch today as a result of you really uh, taking, putting forth the effort to master this script and those rebuttals. In, in, and, and it didn't sound like a script, Amy. You did really good. So congratulations Thank on you. that. Um, but let's wrap up here with your action. You're very welcome. Uh, so let's wrap up here with your action items. What are your takeaways from this call? What? Let's do a start, stop, continue. Uh, from now on, what will you start doing on your calls that maybe you hadn't done before? Um, we'll address the yes or no questions, make that flow a little bit better. Okay. Very cool. What will you, um, what will you stop doing that you, that you maybe, you know, what would you stop doing that you maybe, you know, that we talked about some of the, you know, the, the couple areas of improvement. Um, not asking the question of like, do you know where we're located? Make sure to, you know. You remember where we're located, right? We're in the King's Auto Mall. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Trying to really jog their memory a little bit, if that makes sense. Awesome. And then what will you continue doing that you did well on this call? Um, sound happy, enthusiastic. Um, just kind of let it flow. Don't sound like a robot. And kind of put my own twist on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I love it. I think it sounded great. And, and if you do, if you do that, if you start doing that, stop doing that and continue doing those things, what results do you think you'll see over time here? Um, increased appointments, solid appointments, not just, you know, yeah, I'll be in tomorrow at some point. <laughs> well, I want to, I want to, I love it. Well, I want to congratulate you on your increase in results and pay that will come from it. And, uh, and, and again, thank you, Amy, for adopting this so quickly. Um, so now, I guess, at you as the BDM, BDR, BDM right, and the, tra the person in charge mm -hmm. of training, how can you transfer this? How will you leverage this same role play scenario to help your team improve their, uh, their script, their conversations? Um, constant role playing, constant uh, coaching, um, you know, getting with them on things they can do better, making sure that they've adapted the same things that I did. And just making sure it flows right, you know, not skipping a step because you're trying to hurry. Awesome. So on a scale of one to 10, how valuable was this little brief coaching conversation and role play for you today, Amy? Oh, like a 12. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, well, it's my honor to work with you. I, your dedication to personal development and growth and, and being the best version of you for your, your for your team and your dealership and yourself is extremely respectable, and, and it's my honor. So thanks, Amy. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to 
Uh, what, what can I do to get you? Uh, oh, before I continue, um, how can I uh, get you lunch, number one? And number two, by the way, so between you and I, I recorded this call. Okay, now I'm, I won't post That's it. Cool. I, I wouldn't post it anywhere unless you gave me permission. I would like to share it with my group, um, to, to, but, but again, I wouldn't do it without your permission. And I can, and, and I'd like to share it with you, Amy, because here's why. Um, I want you to leverage this as as a framework for you to use uh, role playing on your people. And so I, I not only wanted to help you master the script, but I want you to let, be able to leverage this for some of the training and role playing you'll do with your guys. Like like, uh, um, well, bottom line, like with Corey, right? So the breakdown of this call um, it basically sounds like this. So number one. I listen to your call, right? And then after the call, the second step is for me to, now notice I didn't go right into correcting you and saying, hey, this is what you need to improve. Now you started trying to tell me where you screwed up, right? Right off the bat? Yeah. But but I, so start off on the positive, right? What did what worked here? What did you do well? And, and get them to empty the bucket. What else? And what else did you do well? And then once you're like, I don't, once you start repeating the same things or you say nothing else, anything they missed, tell them what they meant. Tell them what else they did well, right? You notice I threw in there about your voice inflections, your tones and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I said, what didn't work that you didn't, that didn't go well. And then again, same thing, get them to tell you where they can improve. Here's what you gotta understand. If people come up with their own answers to the, to these questions, then they're significantly more likely to implement those things. Does that make sense? Yes. And then, and yes. then, and then finally, once we've outlined what you did well, where your opportunities to improve were, then it's instead of me telling you what you're going to do, it's, um, it, you know, and, and I give you some feedback and, and advice and education on it. But then I ask you, what are you going to, what not, now we got to take it and go action oriented with it. What is your game plan moving forward? What are you going to start doing? What will you stop doing? And what will you continue doing that works well for you? By covering all three of those areas, um, now you've got you've committed to a game plan um, and you've got advice around, you know, you see what I'm saying? It's your action plan. Right. And then I'm going to ask you as your coach, what can I do to support you in that? What, you know, when would you want to follow up again? Does that make sense? So, Amy, I want to congratulate you and thank you again. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, can I, may I share the, do, number one, may I keep this recording for and share it with you? That's number one. Uh Absolutely. Awesome. Number two, would you be comfortable with me sharing this with this role play with the uh, with my Facebook group? Absolutely. Yeah. And if um, because we're going to be doing coaching, if you could send it to Lindsay somehow. Absolutely. Um, Happy so to do so. She can kind of see how it's supposed to go. Absolutely. I hope it helps uh, you guys continue to grow everyone's skills in the BDC. So, um, Amy, thanks for that. Now, now, uh, last question is how can I how can I support you in this? And so you want me to send it to Lindsay? Anything else? Do you want to do this again in, you know, in another uh, week or two? Or you've got, well, you've got your training with Reed next week, so that's cool. True. Um, uh, so I'll send it to you. And what, how can I get you the, the lunch? I promised you guys <laughs> for, for mastering. Um, I, I don't know. Um, you know what I'll do? Here's what I'll do. Is there, what restaurant do you like nearby? Um, I'll call it in. I'll call in the order for you. Um, let's see. Is it here. too late to get the lunch or is now still good? Uh, no, now still good. No, so good. Okay, I'll tell you what. Text me, uh, text me the uh, name and phone number of the nearby restaurant along with what you want for lunch. I'll call in the order, and I'll text you back and let you know what time it'll be ready for you to pick up. Perfect. Okay. Amy, congratulations and thank you for your coach ability. Keep up Perfect. the great work. Yes, thank you so much, Sean. Always welcome. Talk to you soon. All right.